In this video I will explain to you how you can easily determine the operating point of a battery to which you connect a certain load resistor based on the current voltage characteristics of both components. I will show you how this works in a graphical manner using the current voltage characteristic diagrams and also by using equations which you can derive from these diagrams which is even quicker and more exact than using the graphical method. And at the end of the video we will check our results with a circuit simulation tool and as always there's also going to be a summary of the most important facts at the end for you. And my name is Andreas from the Phyllis Engineer and here we go. Let's quickly review what battery parameters are, what the internal resistance means, what the perfect voltage source has to do with a real-life battery. If you have watched the videos before this one, you might already know this, but if not, and or you need a refresher, let's quickly recap these three points here. Now, the smaller the load which we connect to a real voltage source, for example, a battery, the lower is going to be its terminal voltage. This is something which you can observe here in this current voltage characteristic. On the um, x-axis, you have the current flow generated by the battery. On the y-axis, you have the voltage drop across the terminals of the battery. And all these points here correspond to another load resistor which has been connected to the battery. And as you can see, um, the voltage drop across the terminals goes down the smaller the load resistor is. For example, for a one ohm resistor, the voltage drop is beneath 50% of the voltage rating of this block battery, which is at nine volts. And the larger the load resistor becomes, the higher becomes the current drop. And according to Ohm's law, the smaller becomes um, the, the, the voltage drop and the smaller becomes the current flow. And if you connect all these measurement lines uh, with a straight line, you can see that it has a negative slope. And this negative slope, this is modeled by the internal resistance of the battery, which you can see here in series with a perfect voltage source. And these are the two parameters which we, which we uh, can use to describe the behavior of a battery. An internal resistor in series with an open circuit voltage source. And this open circuit voltage drop is the voltage drop which you can measure when you directly connect a measurement uh, device, a multimeter, to the terminals of the battery and measure the voltage drop. In this case, no voltage drops across the internal resistance because no current flows. And what you get is the voltage of this internal source. And if you short the terminals, you get the short circuit current, as you can see here. And this is another parameter which is used to denote the maximum, the theoretically, the, the maximum theoretic value of current flow the battery can generate. So the behavior of a real voltage source is modeled with a series connection of resistors and an ideal voltage source. And we can describe it by internal resistance, by open circuit voltage, and by short circuit current. That's the knowledge base which you will need in order to understand the, uh, the idea of an operating point of a voltage source. Now let's take a look at um, this small circuit here. In this circuit, you have an internal voltage source of the battery, the open circuit voltage. Then you have the internal resistance, which is at five ohms. The open source voltage is at five volts. You have a load resistor, which is connected here. It's um, 50 ohm, 50 ohms. And um, you can see these two measurements being taken with perfect multimeters, at least in my simulation. It's at 4.545 volts and 90.909 milliamps. And the goal is to predict the operating point of a battery when we connect another resistor um, to this to this battery here. The battery is, is on the left here and uh, the load is on the, on the right. And if we connect a new load resistor, let's say 120 ohms, the question is, what's the voltage drop across this load and what's the current flow through, through this load. And you cannot use measurements for this task here. The idea is to compute these values without taking measurements. Let's take a look at the first step. And in this first step, we want to use the characteristics of the voltage source to model a straight line equation which describes this characteristic curve of the battery. We have already discussed these parameters here. What I might not have yet mentioned in depth is that the internal resistance denotes the slope of this of this straight line here. And you can see that in, you can see it here on the on the right in this standard straight line equation, which you might know from math class, um, the value y um, is identical to the product of, of slope multiplied with x 
plus the intersection uh, with the with the curve um, of the of the y-axis and if you just take a look at the parameters which we find here on the left you can easily see that the y parameter is um, corresponds to the voltage drop that the slope corresponds to the negative internal resistance it needs to be negative because we have a negative slope here then we have the parameter x which corresponds to the um, current axis and we have the intersection point with the y-axis which is the open circuit voltage u0 and this equation here this describes the behavior of the battery that's step one and here in step two we can do the same thing for the current voltage characteristic of an ohmic resistor of the load resistor and if you have watched the video on current voltage characteristics which i recorded some time ago you might know that a that an ohmic resistor which does not change its resistance value with current flow um, emanates from the origin and is a straight line which moves from left bottom to top right with a constant slope and the slope can be computed uh, by, by using this, this fraction here, by dividing voltage drop and current flow. And you can also use the standard form here, uh, standard equation form, and, um, and associate the respective parameters. Y corresponds to voltage, X corresponds to current flow, the slope corresponds to the positive load resistance, and as it's, an, uh, as it's a straight line emanating from the origin, the B parameter corresponds to zero. So this equation here also gives you um, the straight line, which you can see here in the characteristic. And in the next step, we want to equate these two lines here. The red one is the one from the voltage source. The green one is the one from the resistor. And we want to find the point where these two intersect, because once we connect this load resistor to the voltage source, this is the combination of voltage drop and current flow, which will be um, generated by the, the battery in order to, uh, to, to produce a current flow through the, through the resistor. And the voltage drop across the resistor will simply be uh, the one which you get when you, when you draw a straight line or a parallel line to the left to the um, voltage axis. And if you go down, you get the current flow. So what we can do from a mathematical point of view, we can simply equate these two equations. If you have these two, um, these two um, graphs here or these two these two um, lines you can simply do it graphically but um, it will be more exact if you simply use these two equations here so equating these two these two sides here voltage source and and load resistor you're solving for the current flow for example you can also solve for for voltage drop if you do not equate them over the voltage but over the current flow which you can also do but uh, in this example i have done it for the voltage uh, for the voltage drop this provides us with a current flow equation, which is simply the ratio or the fraction of um, open source voltage and um, the sum of the two resistors, load resistor plus internal resistance of the battery. And now let's verify our results by computing the current flow based on the equation from the previous slide. It's 5 volts divided by 125 ohms, which gives us 40 milliamps. And if we verify this with the simulation which we um, looked at at the beginning of this video, we can see that the simulation also arrives at 40 milliamps of current flow. So our prediction here is correct. We have arrived at the correct current flow through the load resistor. And the question to you now is, what's the expected voltage drop across the load resistor? You can easily reshape the equation from the previous um, slide, or not reshape it, but um, associate or equate the two sides, the straight line equations, uh, not via the via the voltage drop as we have done in the in the example, but over the current flow, which gives you the load voltage. And if you do this and solve for the load voltage, you also get an, uh, get an equation. And this equation gives you the um, predicted load voltage. Yeah. And if you have a solution, please post it into the comments down below and uh, I will get back to you and comment on whether you have arrived at the correct result or you might also need some further assistance in arriving at this equation here. Now let's summarize the key takeaways from this video here. The first is the characteristic curve of a voltage source can be expressed as a straight line with a negative internal resistance of the battery as its slope as we have seen and secondly the characteristic curve of an ohmic resistor of a load resistor in this case can also be represented as a straight line this is something which we have discussed in previous videos before we have seen it again here and if we look at the difference between these two straight lines this one here the ohmic load resistor emanates from the origin and has a positive slope which is denoted by the resistance value and then thirdly the intersection point between these two lines can either be determined graphically and then by, by looking at the intersection, you get the 
voltage current pair which gives you the operating point in a graphical manner and if you do not want to do this if you need it um, exact and you might not even possess the um, current voltage characteristics then you can do it also computationally using equations and this means the operating coin point can be calculated from the um, equation of, the, of from equating the characteristic curves of um, the battery and the resistor and this equation is then based on the parameters on the characteristics of the battery and also on the value of the load resistor and as mentioned before if you arrive at a result for the voltage drop across the load drop me also a comment down below in the comment section and questions also if something is left open if you have any questions regarding the content of this video should also go there and now i wish you a nice day see you next time here on the fearless engineer